In this video, we will learn about nested lid and uh, scope of uh, local and global scope of let in statement. We are already in the Power Query editor, so we just need to right click New Query and uh, Blank Query. So here, then we need to go to the Advanced Editor and let me zoom it. So here, here you can see the, this is um, let and here we have to def define different uh, variables. So for example, we can define here variable one is equal to nested let statement so it will be let and uh, then the variable will be for example a is equal to it's a learn this is the name of the variable that contain a uh, string learn and uh, then we have to write here in statement and the output will be a right so this is one let nested let inside the outer let and uh, then we need to define one more let statement uh, one more variable like uh, variable two is equal to and then we have to define let nested let b is equal to ducks and uh, in the in expression we need to write b that's it and uh, c we have variable one in the outer let statement and then in the inner let statement we have variable a for this and for b this so if i try to get the variable for example b and uh, if i click done so you will see we are getting one error the name b was not recognized so let's go to the advanced editor and here you can see we are here in the outer let and when we are in the outer let we cannot access the value the, the value of the variable from the inner let statement so we have to write one more variable in the outer let statement this is variable 3 is equal to variable 1 and so now no, we need to concatenate and then there is another variable 2 that's it and uh, then we have to define here here we have to write comma and uh, now we can use variable 3 so that's it now we need to click done so here you can see we are expressing the name variable 2 was not recognized so we can see what's the problem so here you can see we have written this small letter v so now it's a big variable var2 that's it click done so here you can see we are getting uh, the output is learn space ducks so uh, let's go to the advanced editor and here we can write uh, one more example so here we have let a is equal to one and uh, then we have in in expression and here it is a and now we need to write another b is equal to the second variable and uh, we need to write here one nested let 
a is equal to 10 or a is equal to a plus 1 and in a so here you can see we have here the global variable is in the outer let we have a and the value of the a is 1 and uh, here we have again the global variable b and it contains the value a is equal to a plus 1. So what is the difference between this a and uh, this a? The inner let can get the value from the outer let but the outer let cannot get the value from the inner let. So this is the, the key that you need to remember. So here you can see if I try to because here we are in the outer let and if we click uh, if we execute if we try to access a which value we will get we can see we will get we should get one. So here you can see we are getting one right and again go to the advanced editor and here you can see uh, if I write here B and now the value should be for example if I write here 5 then what should be the value here it should because the inner let can access the value from the outer let so this A will have the value 5 plus 1 and uh, a is equal to a plus 1 the 5 plus 1 is 6 so the b should get when we click done so we get the value 6 so let's click done so here you can see we are getting 6 so you have understood now the local and global variable in let expression and how we can use nested let because sometimes we have done some complex transformation and then we need to use that transformation that is stored in variable a in some another uh, query. So we will see this behavior practically with some real life example in the upcoming videos. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel and if you have any question, please write in the comment section. Thank you.